and the V allows us to thread the building amongst those protected trees, isolating frame views from the very Pacific wings of the V. I'm not sure how threaded this building will be, given its size, perhaps more rammed into place. It will, however, provide Brahm and Lisa with everything they want, inside and out. To lower the house into the hill, they'll dig a 3,000 square foot hole, then drill 157 concrete piles to anchor the building. Next comes a waterproof concrete slab and thick concrete basement walls. Then, perched on top, a cantilevered steel frame, V-shaped, which will float among the trees. Strong and open, it'll allow for the large expansive spaces that Lisa wants. Lincoln's worked hard to hide this coastal building, camouflaging it and keeping it mainly to one story. There are local materials too, pebble lower walls, ground floor walls clad in glass, dark wood and a spooky shadow-like cladding of black paper board. In the basement there'll be a gym, a lift, dressing room, utility room, laundry store, wine cellar, two bedrooms, plant room, another bedroom and a games room. The list goes on upstairs on the ground floor with a large dining room for all that entertaining, a kitchen, a small back kitchen or service kitchen, two children's bedrooms with ensuite bathrooms, another bedroom, a study for Lisa and a study for Brahm. There'll also be a snug that looks like an art deco set for a science fiction movie, semi-circular and clad with translucent glowing milky glass. Oh, and on the top floor is Brahm and Lisa's ensuite, a sort of private apartment with roof terrace. Outside, they've insisted on a traditional swimming pool. This architectural palace is a celebration of life after near death, but putting up 7,000 square foot of building will not be cheap. Does it cost a million quid? 850,000 pounds. We hope. Is it, is it going to cost about that much? We reckon. It's probably going to 